Okay, so first and foremost, I want to welcome everybody to the AeroLase webinar series on how to successfully add aesthetic laser services to the medical practice. Um, before I get started, I want to let you know that the webinar software, which is called Any Meeting, allows you to submit questions at any time. You can type questions into the lower left-hand corner of your screen and press the Enter and Return key on your keyboard. The questions will be accumulated as the webinar progresses. I will answer as many questions after the presentation is completed. All questions that I do not get to will be um, answered by email in the next few business days. You can also contact the sponsor of the webinar, AeroLays, if you think of any additional questions. And they can either reply or forward them on to me um, at a later date. My name is Shanna Robles. I run the aesthetics department at Deerwood Family Practice in San Antonio. We opened four years ago and have approximately 4,000 patients. We see everyone from infants to the elderly. About a year and a half ago, we added aesthetics to our practice. The main reason for this was we, were really, we weren't really sure where managed care was going and wanted to, be, to bring cash revenue in. The problem was we just weren't seeing enough cash revenue with facials and chemical peels. So in January of this year, we purchased our first laser. And I am happy to say that our revenue has gone through the roof. I ran our revenue report on laser services from mid-January when we got our laser to September 30th, and we made just shy of $120,000 in eight and a half months. Throughout this webinar, I will share with you some of the things we did to reach those numbers, as well as why you should add laser services, what treatments are popular, what to look for in, a, in an aesthetic laser, and how to implement laser into your practice. Physicians are choosing to offer laser treatments in medical practices for many reasons. Anti-aging laser treatments are in high demand. Light-based therapy offers great results without systemic side effects. The cash revenue per hour is very high. Laser treatments complement and enhance other procedures such as toxins and fillers. The laser can be easily delegated to extended office staff, for example, nurses, MAs, and estheticians. And certain treatments are reimbursable. Last but not least, your clients and patients want you to treat them. In the next few slides, I will highlight each of the bullet points. Let's look at why anti-aging laser treatments are in high demand. The population is aging. People are living longer, which means they're working longer. And people will pay to look younger. Laser skin treatments have become an aesthetic staple. And remember, everyone feels their best of toxicity. Um, and I know in our practice, we, we get all those clients that come in, they've tried the topical treatments for toenail fungus, um, they're coming in, they want an oral uh, medication to treat it. They're, they're not necessarily a candidate for that because it is systemic. Um, and now we can offer them laser therapy for it. There are no other concerns with chemical interactions aside from photosensitizing medications. Um, so I, I do require patients to be off certain antibiotics uh, and Retin-A or Retinol 10 to 14 days prior to their laser treatment. Lasers are all device, but can complement and enhance other procedures such as toxins and fillers. We've been doing um, injectables for about three and a half years. So for all of our uh, toxin and filler clients, we recommend that they have skin tightening and rejuvenation prior to their filler. Um, this reduces the swelling and bruising. Um, and of course, if they choose not to do that and they end up having a bruise, we can also offer the laser to correct the bruising that they might get afterwards. The skin tightening and rejuvenation complements Botox and fillers. Um, it goes hand in hand, and most of those clients that are getting Botox and fillers 
um, usually will get the skin tightening and rejuvenation. Many physicians prefer to delegate to physician extenders, and the Aerolase lasers are safe and easy to use. Um, my, my background, I'm a licensed esthetician, and I do all of the laser in our practice. Um, it is, has a gentle pulse duration technology and is very um, high in efficacy. And what I really like about the Aerolase laser is the lens does not touch the skin, which minimizes the risk of harsh skin reaction. It's also very simple to use. There's literally three buttons and three lenses. And you can do 30 different procedures with those three buttons and three lenses. And I really want everybody to look at this slide because I think it's one of the most important slides in this slide deck. It talks about the crash revenue per hour when it comes to laser. So. When you're looking at spider veins and skin tightening and rejuvenation, you're looking at three to four patients, and it's about $1,800 an hour. If you're looking at acne treatments, three patients, $1,300 an hour. Hair removal, four patients, $1,000 an hour. And when I look at our typical medical patient, we're family practice, we see three to four medical patients an hour, and I'll, I'll be generous on the amount per patient. It's about $100 per patient. So we're getting about three to $400 an hour per medical patient. So the sky is really the limit on um, cash revenue when it comes to laser. And the other nice thing is it's cash. So you're getting it up front as services are rendered, um, as opposed to waiting for a managed care payment. Your patients trust you and want you to treat them. It's important to take advantage of that bond you have with them. The other thing is it's really easy to combine beauty and wellness. They, they go hand in hand. Um, your patients are looking for those treatments, and when you are able to offer them, they're going to come to you for it. They want you to treat them. When looking at uh, the popular applications, I absolutely agree with this slide. The laser skin tightening and rejuvenation is my absolute number one treatment. Um, it's my most expensive treatment. And, um, and then the next one would be laser hair removal as well. We do a lot of that. I probably do equally as much um, leg veins, facial vessels, angiomas, rosacea treatments. And there's one slice of the pie that's not on here that I think is really important, and that's toenail fungus. We probably see two to three toenail fungus patients, new patients, a week. Um, and so that's another uh, treatment that you can uh, take advantage of in your, in your practice, because most of your patients are looking for these things, um, looking for these treatments. These are some of the most common treatments not covered by insurance. Skin tightening and rejuvenation, hair removal, spider veins, rosacea, acne clearance, nail fungus, pigmented lesions, and scar revision. And as we go through the before and after photos, I want you to think of the people you know that would benefit from these treatments. Skin tightening and rejuvenation. This is for those with aging skin, seeking a mix of tightening and tone with texture improvement. Um, I have a lot of clients that come in, mature clients. They're complaining, my pore size. What am I going to do about my pore size? This truly helps with pore size. Of course, tightening around the jawline. One of the, the package that I do is I do full neck and face. Um, in this treatment, and that's the one that they usually get. And it's usually a package of three to four treatments. 
acne scars. This patient had a combination of the Aerolase treatments to build up collagen from underneath and microdermabrasion to help with the surface texture. Skin tightening. This patient lost 85 pounds and needed to tighten the lower buttock cheeks. Things like pregnancy, weight loss, often create skin conditions that uh, lasers can help repair. Skin rejuvenation. Ablative treatments can solve a lot of problems quickly in terms of wrinkles, acne scars, large pores, and sun damage. Hair removal. Many patients have unwanted hair on their face. In addition to other areas, laser hair removal has many advantages over waxing, plucking, and electrolysis. I usually see about a 40% reduction after the first treatment. Not every laser can be used on all skin types. If you have the right laser, you can treat even the darkest skin types without concern about discomfort and pigmentary changes. This is really important. Um, when we were looking at lasers, we wanted to make sure we had a really versatile laser that could be used on everyone. Um, there are lasers out there that you can't go on the darker skin tones. Um, you can't use if somebody's been tanning. Um, and our laser, of course, we can use on, on everyone. We can use all year round. And so we've, we've uh, taken advantage of that. Ingrown hairs are difficult to deal with, and laser treatment is the only real solution. Once the underlying follicles are destroyed, the hyperpigmentation clears up because the source of inflammation has been removed. This is um, one of the most common um, treatments that I do. I actually see a lot of men with irritation to their anterior neck, and so we, we do a lot of hair removal on men for their neck. Spider veins are a major cosmetic concern for many and can be cleared up nicely with laser treatments. This is, I, I truly believe that our laser is probably the best on the market. We get clients that have been to other doctor's offices, they've used other lasers, and their, their facial vessels did not go away. And they come into our office and they're, they're discouraged, they're upset, it bothers them, and all I, all I can say is, let's try it, and if for some reason it doesn't work, I'll give you your money back. And to this day, I haven't had to give anybody's money back. Rosacea has many causes and can be very difficult to clear up. What we did with all of our rosacea clients is we called every one of them because prior to our laser, it was medication, diet, and skin care. So we had all of them come in and go to laser therapy. It is absolutely life-changing. Um, they no longer wake up with red faces. It's truly, it's truly amazing. Um, I typically do two to four treatments on rosacea because I want to make sure that it is cleared. Leg veins sometimes require more treatments due to high pressure in the vessels when patients stand or walk. Um, our patients really like the laser treatment when it comes to leg veins because they don't have to wear compression stockings. Um, the only thing they have to do is not exercise for three days, and so um, they really prefer this treatment over some of the other options out there. Acne. Deep heating lasers can superheat bacteria and, sh and shrink the sebaceous glands to reduce sebum output, output 
avoiding clogged pores and oily skin. It works really well on acne. Um, there are, of course, you know, you can do oral medications. Not everybody can take oral medications or want to take oral medications. So this is definitely a, a great option for those clients that have acne. I've even done back acne, chest acne, um, so it is a great option. Scar revision. Lasers uh, can take some of the pigment out of scars and improve the skin texture. When looking at scar revision, um, I've even done knee, you know, when patients have knee replacements um, and they come in with a six inch scar on their knee or hip replacements um, and they're wanting to minimize the uh, look of the scar. I've had uh, car accident patients that had scars on their faces. You can rebuild the collagen underneath the scar so it doesn't, uh, so it's more flush with the skin. And nail fungus. Nail fungus is an area where oral therapies are associated with side effects, such as liver damage from Lamisil. So laser therapy has proven to be highly effective without any such risk. And I do a lot of nail fungus. Like I said I, earlier, it's probably about two to three new cases a week on nail fungus. Sun and age spots. Many people develop sun and age spots, which, which can also be treated effectively with laser. Melasma can be linked to pregnancy, but can also have other causes such as hormones and heredity. It is systemic and tends to recur, re, reoccur, but laser treatments can clear it up for a period of time. So those are the most common cash-based treatments. Now I'm going to move on to reimbursable treatments. And here are the CPT codes for your reimbursable treatments. You've got destruction of lesions, port wine stains and hemangiomas, psoriasis, warts, and debridement of ulcers. I can tell you, for uh, we I've done psoriasis, and you're looking at anywhere it's six treatments for psoriasis at two week intervals, and you're looking at anywhere from a, around two hundred and fifty to three hundred dollars per treatment um, is the, what we received um, from the insurance company. Warts are usually about one hundred and twenty dollars per treatment um, from. Of course, the different insurance companies are going to vary, but this is around what we're receiving. Looking at examples of reimbursable treatments. Skin tags and other types of skin lesions can easily be treated with lasers, breaking down the vessel network, network beneath the lesion. This approach avoids scarring that can be associated with cutting or excision. Lasers can also target hemoglobin and clear up different vascular conditions, even on infants or youth. Psoriasis. This patient is still clear two years after a regimen of six laser treatments. She got laser tr treatments. Let's see. No, she went to the Mayo Clinic. Oh, yeah, she got laser treatments after the Mayo Clinic failed to clear up the psoriasis with tar treatments. And as you know, tar treatments are awful. They stink. And um, I absolutely am an advocate of this treatment. I have seen what it can do. I had a dentist come in, and he had had some laser treatments in two-week intervals, and it is completely cleared. Lasers break down the vessel network beneath the wart. 
Again, this avoids scarring that can be associating with cutting and excision. And this was four treatments at, on this uh, before and after here. And lasers are great for uh, wound healing. Um, it helps them to reach closure by stimulating collagen and superheating bacteria in the wound. So these are all of the reimbursable treatments. So what should you look for in an aesthetic laser? Versatility. So versatility means more treatments, which means more revenue for you. And when we, were, when we started looking at lasers, we called a bunch of different companies. And I'd call a company and I'd say, OK, can you can we do toenail fungus with this laser? And then they'd say, no, we're not FDA approved to do toenail fungus. And then I'd call another one and they'd, I'd say, well, can I do spider veins with your laser? No, we're not FDA approved to do spider veins with this laser. Um, but being that I'm family practice, I wanted to do it all. I, I didn't want to buy two lasers. I wanted a laser that did it all. And so I think I was very fortunate to find a laser that's indicated to do 30 different treatments. And we take full advantage of that. We use the laser for everything. We, we use it, I've used it for all of the treatments. Power and efficacy, good results generate, word, you know, generates more customers, I mean, more clients, word of mouth. If they're getting good results, they're going to send their family and friends. So you want to make sure you're getting a laser that's doing its job. Ease of use. Lasers should be safe and easy to use. Mobility, uh, mobile capability. Some practitioners can expand their service treatment. They, you know, some people have multiple locations um, and need to be able to move it from location to location. So mobile capability is important to uh, some people. And then, of course, low cost of ownership. Things to look at um, is service contracts and consumables, not just the price of the laser. Um, with our laser, the only thing that we have to purchase is a filter. And you can use your filter for several days. Um, the only time I train it, you know, really have to monitor as far as changing it out is if I'm doing toenail fungus. I always change it out or if I'm doing a lot of hair removal because it tends to get dirty a lot faster. So when it came to menu and pricing, we came together as a team and we decided we weren't going to discuss prices over the phone. We were not going to put our prices on the internet. Um, we were going to get clients in and do a consultation. Um, so we do a free 15-minute consultation because everybody's different. Um, I can't quote, quote a price on hair removal on somebody when I have never seen them. Um, so our office staff, uh, we get the phone calls and they don't quote any prices. They pretty much say, you know what, I'm sorry, we can't give you a price, but because we might be able to save you some money, but we can do is give you a free 15-minute consultation. What day can you come in? We also came up with a menu of pricing. We called, uh, well, we actually shopped all of our competitors. We went online because some people do list their pricing. And we came up with our own menu of pricing. We also do discounts on bundles because many of our patients will buy multiple packages. Um, maybe they're doing a package for skin tightening and rejuvenation, but then they want their hands done or they want their leg veins done. So we will do discounts if they're buying multiple packages. We also run specials. Um, we typically run specials on facials. Occasionally, we'll do specials on the laser. Our specials on the lasers are, are on our laser is usually in combination 
with filler. So we'll do skin tightening and rejuvenation with a syringe of filler. Most people are going to need two syringes of filler, but it gets them in. They can try the laser, which I know they're going to love. Um, so they get to try the laser, and then they end up getting their one syringe at a discounted price, and then they get the other syringe at a regular price. So that seems to work really well. It's important to follow some basic steps in preparing the medical office for laser services. And we'll go through some of, uh, we'll go through each of these. Website marketing, training, in-office marketing, introduction to current patient base, community outreach, and data retention. Having a website or a, cust a custom web page is important to capture your inter internet search traffic in your area. Um, you need to indicate your new services on your home page. Um, you need to have pages and tabs dedicated to your services, include all your treatments. You can use the Airlays provided materials for easy setup, and you can link to the Airlays website for added web traffic. Um, when we, we're working on our website, we have a running banner that has hair removal, toenail fungus, uh, skin tightening and rejuvenation, uh, Botox and fillers, and these are the things that are making money and generating cash revenue in our office. So those are the things we wanted to make sure were on our runner. When it came to training staff, it was really important for us to let the staff feel the laser. Um, the best salespeople are the ones that have a story. Um, we wanted our, our staff has, um, they get free treatments. They get their legs, veins lasered, they get their skin tightening, they get their underarm hair done, whatever they want because they will have a story and every single person that checks out or checks in, they're going to tell them about their leg veins being gone. So make sure your staff gets to use the laser. They know how it feels. It's a true story. And um, of course, they get the added benefit of the treatment. Ensure that your staff is knowledgeable on the laser and all the procedures that you're doing. And uh, train the receptionist to deal with customers asking for treatments. Um, again, this goes back to our, you know, we set up the 15-minute free consultation. Aerolace does also provide in-office hands-on clinical training. So I would take advantage of that as well. Implementing your laser into your practice. So for in-office marketing, this is the one, of, one of the things that I think is really important also, is clearing out old clutter and collateral material. It can be very overwhelming. I walk into our front lobby, and I think every single pharmaceutical rep has dropped off their information, and it's overwhelming for your patients. They're going, what's this medication, this medication? We remove all of that material. It goes into the cabinet with our uh, samples of their drugs and the material what we have in our our lobby is aesthetics and weight loss or what we're doing at our office the services we provide at our office is what we keep in our lobby so we also have a tv with our um, airlace dv uh, dvd loop playing 24 7. we have our promotional items and posters we include brochures, our trifolds, um, in every exam room. We have them in the bathrooms. We have them in the treatment, you know, the treatment rooms, posters in the hall. Um, you can also put your uh, phone message on your uh, your message on your phone system, and have a menu of your aesthetic services.
Introduction to your current patient base. What we did here was we have an email sign-up list for all of our patients. It's, it's where they check out. So if they want to receive any of our specials, um, we do a monthly special, um, or any of our um, newsletters or whatever we're sending out that month, then they sign up for our email. When we got our laser in January, we probably had about 200 emails. We have about 600 now. So we send out monthly our specials um, for aesthetics, and we get a good response from that. And so our advertising is not, we don't do any outside advertising. Our advertising is all the patients that we have. It's their family members. It's their friends. And it's all word of mouth. We do um, have introductory offers. We we celebrate birthdays. Um, birthdays are a big deal at our office. So if we have patients and it's their birthday, they get half off of their skin tightening and rejuvenation. And everybody wants to take advantage of that. As far as community outreach, we have um, done some open houses. We've also partnered with some of the local salons and done uh, ladies' night out. And we've gotten some uh, clients from there. We've also, I've also done some marketing uh, with our nail salons. You know there's nail salons probably on every corner uh, within a two-mile radius. Um, so I go into the nail salons and, and put in our brochures, ask them if we could uh, put up our toenail fungus brochures. And so we get some business that way. And then, of course, if there's a dentist office or somebody else in the neighborhood that um, that will allow us to put some brochures in their office, we'll put them in there as well. Data retention is important, so make sure you know where your customers are coming from. I will say most of our customers are patients, family members, and friends. There's a small majority that we get outside of that, um, but we still try to grasp all of those. But when we do our uh, client consultation forms, it, it'll, we ask on there, how did you hear about us? And it is patient, it's another patient, family, or friend. Consultations are very important in, in identifying the needs and wants of your client. Unlike medical patients, aesthetic clients don't need treatments. They, they want them. And they're willing to pay cash, and they want results. Clients need to understand exactly what to expect during and after the treatment. So I'm very clear on what's going to happen after they leave my office. You're probably going to be a little red. Um, you may have a couple of scabs. It depends on what I did that day. Um, your, your results are going to be gradual. You need to follow all these steps with your aftercare. So be very clear on uh, what to expect. They can always call the office if they have additional questions. I make myself fully available. Um, and it just makes them more comfortable with what you're doing. And when you do your consultation, it's a great opportunity for cross-selling. When they come in for that 15-minute consultation, they're wanting to know what your recommendations are. They're coming in for Maybe they're coming in for a, fa a facial, but they really need filler, or they really need laser, or maybe they need laser, filler, and Botox. Um, they've got a wedding, a special event coming up. So this is an opportunity for you to, um, of course, they want to look their best, but it's an opportunity for you to uh, cross-sell all of the services. So administrative details, when it comes to financing your purchase, you can arrange your own financing or you can ask Airlays for the various options they offer. 
Uh, malpractice insurance, most uh, practices found little or no impact on malpractice insurance. When we added, uh, when I was added to our malpractice insurance, it was about $700 a year to add me for the laser. Forms and documentation, um, airlays uh, forms for recording, patient post-treatment care guidelines. Um, you can use these forms. I, what I do is I, we use the system, um, our all script system, and I actually type our notes into uh, under our laser um, treatment section and type the notes into our all script system under each patient. So whatever is easier for you. So at this time, we're going to do our question and answer, answer session. So I've got a few questions here for you. Can everybody hear me? Let's see. How much training did you need to effectively use your laser? We did one day of training. And when we did our one day of training, we actually launched our laser that day. We had, I think it was six or seven clients signed up for the laser. We did a special promotion. We charged $100 for each of our clients to come in and get either skin tightening, their first hair removal, their first fun nail fungus uh, treatment, and then when they left, they set up their second treatments. So for training, we did do a $100 promotional fee, um, and we did sign up six or seven uh, patients that day. Do I charge for a consultation? No, I do not charge for a consultation. I do a free 15-minute consultation. Um, I would encourage you to do your free consultation because out of all the consultations I've done, I've only had, I would say, two or three that have not purchased some sort of laser treatment or a package. Did patients typically pay cash, check, or credit card? Yes, it's all cash or credit card or check, and it's all as services are rendered. Packages are paid up front. Um, if they choose to pay per treatment, I charge a little more. They get a better deal if they purchase a package and pay it all up front. Um, so pretty much they're getting a little bit of a discount if they purchase a patch treatment, but it does cost a little more to do that. Do you inject fillers and do laser on the same patient visit? Absolutely. You can do your skin tightening and rejuvenation prior to your injectables. And I encourage that, and I would offer it to every single Botox and filler patient that you have, because it, it reduces swelling and it reduces the risk of bruising. Have you had any problems treating tan patients or dark skin patients? No. And I, I've, treated, I've treated all colors, and no, not at all. Um, you do have to set your settings very low. I typically go uh, on the energy mode of a uh, three, um, three or a four. I, I try not to go any higher than that. Um, and I found with hair removal, it, it's sufficient with hair removal on darker skin tones.
How often do patients sign up for a completely new type of treatment after finishing with the first one? I've had patients, it's really, I've had patients that are now on their third package of skin tightening and rejuvenation. So we do our packages three, and they've, they're already starting on their third package. So absolutely, they love it. Their skin has never looked better. I had a client in uh, the other day, and she said, I've been going to this esthetician for five years. She's been doing all this microcurrent, all this stuff, and she's come in now for two uh, skin tightening and rejuvenation laser treatments. She goes, this laser has done more for my skin in two treatments than that has done in five years. She has gone to her monthly for five years. And so I was really glad to hear that. My preferred treatments uh, with the air lace device, gosh, that's a tough one. Um, popular treatment, skin tightening re and rejuvenation. The most rewarding treatments are going to be your rosacea, your psoriasis, um, corrective type procedures that really are life-changing um, for, for your client. Those are the ones that are, are, are the ones that really mean a lot to you. Let's see. How beneficial is it to have microdermabrasion in conjunction with laser treatments? Um, absolutely, and I actually do packages with chemical peels and the laser, as well as microderm and the laser. Um, I, I prefer to be a little more aggressive when it comes to my chemical peels. I, I typically do uh, medium depth peels, so, but you can do your lighter ones as well. I consider microdermabrasion a lighter uh, exfoliation, but uh, you can do a package of, say, three skin tightening and rejuvenations, and I'll typically alternate your uh, chemical peels in between those uh, laser treatments. Skin tightening and rejuvenation, I do four weeks apart. When you repeat a package, meaning after how many months or weeks, how long do you wait after Botox and fillers? Um, typically, for Botox, I'll wait a couple of weeks. For fillers, I'll wait about four weeks. And I'll, it depends on where the filler is. I mean, there's a lot of things you can focus on. Um, with the laser, you don't necessarily have to um, go over the filler multiple times. Um, so, you know, be cautious of that when you're doing uh, laser and fillers. Okay, so it looks like our time is up. So I apologize if we didn't get to all the questions, um, but we're going to have to close the webinar at this time. As I mentioned earlier, any unanswered questions um, will be answered um, by email. So please uh, be patient, and we'll get back to you in a couple of days, business days. Uh, we will also be sending you a brief survey by email. Please uh, give us your feedback. Um, I would highly appreciate it if you take about 60 seconds to complete that survey. Thank you again for attending, and I hope I answered all your questions. Have a good night.